Hey guys, Slow Monkey here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to make a Minecraft bucket server for Minecraft 1.0. This is a bit of an update video for my previous one because my uh, previous method that I used in the last video is a bit outdated. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new one to help you guys out, and I'm going to make this video as fast as possible so you guys can get your Minecraft bucket server made as soon as possible. So let's get started here. Go ahead and go to bucket.org, and you're going to go to get craft bucket. And go to, because this is a Mac, I'm doing this tutorial on a Mac, go ahead and go to Mac, but hold on, hold on, before you go to Mac, go ahead and click this, this will download the uh, latest build for you, so click this link here once you go to that, and then click back, so you're back to this page here, and now you click on Mac, and it'll take you down here, go ahead and copy this code here, and while that's downloading, we're going to go ahead and make a folder, uh, so go ahead and go new folder, and call it craft bucket. Oops. oops, 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 bucket, and then once you have that, you're going to go to your downloads, and as soon as that downloads, click on it, change the name, and just delete these little extensions, so you just have craftbucket.jar, and you're going to drag it over to your desktop, craft bucket, and once that's in craft bucket, you're going to open text edit, if you don't have text edit on the uh, toolbar down here, go ahead and uh, search it, text edit and go to format make plain text and this is where you're going to copy that code down or uh, paste the code that you copied and basically what this is is uh, it gives your permission uh, permission uh, permission permission per gives your server permission to run sorry guys and uh, this is the amount of RAM you're going to give your server, so I'm giving it 2 gigs. You can give it 1 gig, but anywhere below 1 gig you probably don't even want to bother with because it's just going to be too slow. Um, but anyway, I have enough uh, RAM to give my server 2 gigs, so I'm going to do that. Save, and you want to name it start underscore server dot command. Save it to your desktop, and go ahead and exit out of that, and go to desktop and drag it into your craft bucket server and once you have that open up terminal if you don't have terminal on the, the toolbar down there go ahead and uh, type it in up here and it will be right there and then when you're in terminal go ahead and type in chmod a plus x and then add a space and now go to your craft bucket folder and drag start server dot command into the terminal window and once you have it dragged in there click enter and then go back to your craft bucket folder, uh, go to start server dot command, and double click the start server dot command, and now you are officially uh, loading your Minecraft server. And so while that's loading, let's go ahead and go to our uh, port map, which is how you uh, port forward. So if you guys have Windows, I apologize, this is not going to work for you. Uh, you're going to have to find another way. Uh, I don't know exactly how to do it for a Windows because I'm more of a Mac guy than a Windows guy. So, anyway, uh, if you are using a Mac, you're going to want to go to this link here, Coding Monkeys. And it's the first link for port map. And go ahead and click that. And I'll put a link in the description for you guys anyway. And uh, go to the part where it says For Land Lovers and click the download. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. And so once you do that, go ahead and open up port map. And I'm going to delete this so I can help you guys out here. This is your IP you're going to want to connect to, but you're, wanna, you're going to want to make your extension. All right, so the extension you're going to want is 25565. And you can type it in here, and it will automatically go to desired public port like that. And leave that alone. That's fine like that. And then description, Minecraft, and this can be left alone too. And then you're just going to add the mapping. And once it's added, the green lights will go, then you're ready to run your server and get on your server. And other people can now connect to your server. So you can exit out of that. And here is your terminal window. You're going to always want to keep this open at all times when you're running your server. This can go away, but this needs to stay. All right? It's always going to need to be open. And you can never turn your computer off or else the server will go off. So anyway... Now let's go to our, let's try out our server, shall we? So, and always remember you need to keep this open most of the time, uh, just like until the server's running, and then you can uh, get rid of it. But let's go ahead and try and connect to it, shall we? Do, 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 do. Alrighty. 
all right and now I'll go to you local server and voila we're on our server hold on as it puts me in alrighty and here we are this is our world this is our server so anyway guys that is about all I have for you guys today uh, obviously if you want to change anything to your server you go ahead and run over to craft bucket and now you have all these uh, files and whatnot you got whitelist which is uh, you put the usernames that you want to join and only those usernames can join to access the or to enable whitelist you can go into the server properties and go to whitelist and make it true uh, you also have all these other uh, things uh, Op options I guess you can say uh, that you can change max players monsters difficulty game mode PvP all that good stuff so anyway and then you got your plugins and permissions okay let me hit this real quick permissions you guys it will tell you if you have permissions plugin and you see that it says permissions is uh, nothing is empty being ignored don't think that's your permissions plugin. That's just this file that I don't know what it's doing there. I don't know what it is. And honestly, I think it just is dumb. But if you see that, if you see the permissions is empty and it's being ignored, it's not your plugin. It's just this file here. All right. And so anyway, you got ops. If you want to op yourself, just go ahead and go to the terminal window here and type op and then your username. My username is slowmonkey1227. So boom, opping slowmonkey1227. And then once you do that, you should be set and ready to go and you can get all your friends on your server and post it on the forums and voila, you have a server. So anyway guys, I hope this helped you a lot. And if it did, go ahead and leave a like and a favorite and that'll help me a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. And if you do have any other uh, tutorials that you want to see off of Minecraft, go ahead and leave a comment below on what plug in or anything you want to see as a tutorial and if I get a lot of the same thing I'll do a video on it if not uh, I'll sky I'll uh, comment back and I'll say Skype me my Skype name is D O N U T T Z hyphen hyphen so that's donuts with two hyphens next to it and I will help you off of that so anyway guys thank you for watching and as always have a beautiful day